G'day and welcome back. So today I thought I would talk to you about the new feature in Resolve that I think is hands down the best new addition that they've added into 18.5. Now, this isn't some fancy tool or some fancy effect, but it's something that you're going to use all the time. Now, at the moment, as you can see, I'm editing a project. Now, this is red footage. So with this footage here, I'm obviously doing a lot of rendering and making a lot of proxies to get that smooth playback. The problem with that is it's creating a lot of files on my computer. Now, in the past, to delete your render cache, you would have to go in and delete it from your project, or you'd go in and delete it from your hard drive. Now, Resolve has a completely new way to delete it. Now, that new thing is delete render cache. So in the past, what you'd have to do is go into a hard drive and delete all this render cache, or you would delete it from your project. But this new setting lets you do it all in one go, and I think that is so amazing and so helpful. Now, to access this new feature, all you have to do is go to playback, delete render cache, and here, manage cache data. So just click on that. Now, as you can see, it comes up with a couple of options here. So in terms of location, you have local, network, or cloud. So I'm assuming if you have some stuff in cloud, you could delete it from there. Network must be all your computers connected to that network. And then you have local, which is your local hard drive, which should be all of those things combined together. In terms of project library, I'm guessing that's just your computer and not everything else. Anyway, I'm really excited that Blackmagic has put that on. I think it's a really amazing new feature. It's gonna save you so much hassle and it's really gonna help you clean up your computer and speed your computer up also because more hard drive space used is a slower computer. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the new feature and I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been Drew from Gingo Productions and thanks again.